I got so much cool stuff. I got Jim Jensen bad mouthing me. Really? Yeah, I've got. Um, you'll love this. He used to love you. Yeah. Well, we got to make that clear up front. Also, I have the Baywatch tape that I promised you I'd play. Okay. And we've got about a hundred things we could do this morning. I think I must be allergic to Baywatch. Well, you might have a problem with it. Yes. <laughs> I was there again last night. I saw the setup to the show. As soon as I saw them cast that net on the water, I was gone. See, that's your problem. You see, you like when I explain the show yeah. to you. So you've got to hang in there for a few minutes and get into it. I don't know. I just, there's something about it. Watching, watching that guy, David Hasselhoff, defuse a bomb, <laughs> and he's supposed to be a lifeguard, is unbelievable. The guys who write this have no shame. They well, just write time, anything down on that piece of paper. The setup was two girls yeah. go to a door and they knock on. One girl goes to the front door, knocks on the door. There's a guy in there. It looked like he must have been doing something with drugs. Right. And then he goes to the front door. Another girl comes in the back, steals his drugs, and runs away. Right. And then the guy comes back, finds his drugs missing. And the next thing I know, David Hasselhoff is casting that net. Right. And I'm out of there. Yeah. And I can't watch. You're not going to hang in there for no, the conclusion. They want. Yeah. <laughs> he, he is, right, I've convinced the writers just, I don't even think they talk to each other. I think everybody, it's almost like a game of telephone where everyone passes down the line. Right. Or you ever play that game where you write a story, everyone says a couple of words, and then yeah, you go on to the next guy? It doesn't have to be in sequence, or yeah. it could be a total non sequitur, but the other guy has to follow up yeah, after and they, you do that. And they just write, they go like, you know what? David Hasselhoff. Takes his head and drills through the sand with his head mm -hmm. and goes underground like a human tunnel. So you write a sentence and then pass it, and the next yeah. guy and then the next guy goes, yeah. yeah. And then Pam Anderson, the next guy gets it and goes, yeah. And then Pam Anderson goes through the same tunnel. Right. Three midgets. Yeah. And, and three midgets show up. Well, see, I'm sitting there saying, okay, this is a setup for some kind of a crime show. <laughs> what are these two people stealing drugs? How are they going to get on the beach? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All, all I know is it brings you to the point where David Hasselhoff. Is defusing a bomb. You know what's great about it? Wait, him? let's play that tape now. You got it? Yeah, it's up. All right. he, David Hasselhoff, nice guy, got to be the world's worst actor. Right. Nothing funnier than no, watch... No, Gilbert Gottfried and Jackie are the world's worst hey, actors. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! Okay. No, nothing funnier than watch David Hasselhoff lift something that's obviously a pound and try to pretend it's 500 pounds. Yeah, you got to see this. this. You can hear him doing it, too. He actually, instead of, like, struggling to lift something, he actually goes, like, he, you'll hear him on the tape, he goes... Uh, uh, and what he's lifting is, he's just lifting his hand mm. and, like, trying to adjust a wire. Wasn't that what he was lifting? He was trying to pull it around, and he was like, he sort of got his hands on it. And he went like, mm. yeah, I mean, it wasn't anything heavy. It might have weighed a pound, and he's, right. going, he's like, uh, uh. Well, you people can laugh all you want about David. <laughs> he's a billionaire. You know what they do on that show all the time that cracks yeah. me up? If there's, like, if the boat gets hit, mm -hmm. instead of, like, doing a good simulation, they tilt the camera and everybody just like, you know, when the Enterprise used to get hit, yeah. everybody just moves to one side. Right. Yeah. Well, they can't mess up their makeup. Wiley E. Coyote, Coyote had more realism than, <laughs> than uh, that whole Baywatch thing. All right, here here we go. Here's Baywatch. This is David Hasselhoff now. He's on a boat. And here he, he's a lifeguard. All right. One week we saw him. He had a, he actually committed, he actually did surgery on a guy, on a criminal. Right. And removed three bullets and saved the guy's life and had no medical equipment. And he's a lifeguard. <laughs> and this week, he defuses a bomb. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is like a burnt-out lifeguard. This and is a... all of this is going on at the beach. Yeah, this is a guy way too old to be a Why lifeguard. Why are people going to this beach? They're it's going because, because no matter what happens, David Hasselhoff can help you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guy doing, like, algebra equations, too. <laughs> He's a guy, obviously a genius, but he's just a bum and he's a lifeguard. Has never applied himself right. to all that he could do. I'm yeah. waiting. Next week's episode is heart and lung transplant. Right. Well, you know that he's going to have another series called Baywatch Nights, mm. which will be what he does in the off season. Right. When he's not saving lives at the beach, like in the winter, right. he's a detective. Oh, I thought he was like a, a, a dancer in a gay <laughs> porno theater or something. Well, that would make more sense. Yeah. But no, he's a detective. Here you go. All right, now that beeping is David Hasselhoff. The beeping is the, the actual bomb, bomb okay, counting the down. On the bomb. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jimmy David has a flashlight in the college grip. Point that hole right there. How bad is he? That's a nightmare. There's enough plastic in there to bring down a battleship. 
And this is the biggest detonator I have seen since I was a Navy SEAL. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he was a Navy SEAL, yeah, this guy. This guy was on his way to being, like, the President of the United States, but he, he became a lifeguard. Oh, that's hysterical. You saw this one, right, Ralph? Yeah. Now, to determine this, he, he, had a, he whips out a pocket knife, and he puts it underneath the bomb, and he's like, oh. That's what I was afraid of. It's a yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is coming. But I up. love how that one line explains how he knows all yeah. about this. Oh, yeah, he's a Navy SEAL. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, can you just remove the whole bomb? I'll find out. You hear me? You hear me? Yeah. And there's enough. That girl is a lifeguard too, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. Yeah. And she's giving him suggestions. Well, she's so stupid. She goes, "Well, just can't you can't you remove the whole bomb?" And meanwhile, you know, the, you know, he's like. Well, we're going to see. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm going to see right now. Yeah, let me just check that. And so he takes like his nail file and he runs it underneath the bomb. And he goes, uh-oh, wait, wait, it's coming up. He's run Now he's running the nail file underneath the... Uh, he's, always, he's always in the middle of a complicated operation, right. you know, with just a nail file. She's got a magnetic trigger attached to the metal plate. Uh-oh. Oh. Sucks. Damn it. You just can't pick it up and throw it overboard. What is that bad acting? <laughs> Metal way that two can be separated. You yeah. Why is he breathing like that for? Because I'm disconnecting the Unistavius pin from the Finati rod. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Next week's supposed to be real good. He makes a tuxedo out of uh, beach weed. <laughs> and he crashes a mob wedding to save an old girlfriend from a hitman. I go up on deck, see if you can change course, at least to head us away from the rig. I'm going to try and detach. Adam West is laughing at this. <laughs> yeah, now, Kathy Kirk is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> the detonator from the explosives. That, that was it right there. When he said I'm going to try to detach, he goes, from the explosives, and he's lifting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's when he lifted the explosives. The explosives weigh about a... Like not even a half a pound. It's an alarm clock and two sticks of dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, He's way overboard. But, yeah, that's a cool move. I got I to gotta remember that in my movie. My hernia. <sighs> Did you get that part where he's underneath and he goes, oh, there's enough plastique under here? Yeah, we get that up front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Plastique. plastique. <laughs> he's a I lifeguard. I have that, that many explosives since I was a Navy SEAL. Here's a guy with all this information, but he, his, biggest, his biggest problem in life is trying to figure out like which lifeguard should work what shift <laughs> right. so that they don't conflict with other lifeguards who they're in love with. He was a Navy SEAL, but he decided to become a lifeguard. Yeah, because like, the following week I saw one episode where David Hasselhoff was having a real hassle. Because <laughs> Hasselhoff. Yeah, he was Hasselhoff. <laughs> the hassle was that um, one of the girls was in love with one of the male lifeguards. Right. And he was worried that if they worked the same shift, she'd be busy looking at him. Not the beach. And not the beach. Oh, boy. But this is the same guy who knows about plastique. <laughs> you know, and it makes no sense. So, so he gets real worried, but he figures, okay, they're professionals. They lifeguard. can work together. They can work together. So... Because these are lifeguards these are that are, kids, yeah, yeah, but kids. these are lifeguards that are way too into their job. I mean, I don't know one lifeguard that actually looks at the water. So, um, or looks that good. Yeah. So, she's there. I forget which one it was, like Yasmin Bleeth or something. And she's, you know, in a bathing suit and everything. And she's looking through the binoculars at the water. All of a sudden, she the binoculars shift over, and she's looking at the guy. Oh, please. She's watching the guy. And that amount of time, that ten seconds, someone's drowning. And she didn't spot it right away. Uh, See that? So David Hasselhoff right. was right, and now he's got to transfer one of them. <laughs> now he learned that being a Navy. Yeah, field. but but in the same you know in the same breath, he's operating on people. And like, why would a guy who knows that much stuff want to really be concerned with two idiots why would have to look he at each other? Why would want to run a company? Yeah. Or... yeah. Here's a guy with way too much free time. <laughs> Do something besides run around on the beach. Some weeks, you don't really watch it that much, which you've got to get into. I can't watch it. One week I'm watching it, I could swear I heard the cameraman laughing. On one of the <laughs> <laughs> I, every I have tried and tried to sit through Baywatch. I, you know, I can't get to this part. Listen to the rest of the scene. You'll hear the cameraman laughing. Right. <laughs> One more. That's just one, one more. more. One more. 
<laughs> and oh. it's that obligatory scene where there's 900 wires. There's one blue, one yellow, right. and red. And David Hasselhoff is eye level. Like, he can't cut him standing up. No. He's eye level with the wires, and he's got his little clippers, his <laughs> nail clippers. And all of a sudden, I don't know where he got these clippers from. He's got professional wire clippers. What to do? What to yeah, do? Yeah, he's like, <sighs> not too cliche. Yeah, right. He's like, yeah, I mean, this scene has <sighs> been played over how many times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty right. years ago. Yeah. Why, when he jumped on the boat, there was only twenty seconds left. Right. It's a nightmare. Yeah, well, he's like any, meeny, miny, mo. He's a lifeguard trying to decide which wires to cut. The Navy SEAL. How bad is it? It's a nightmare. Yeah, some nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. Hurry! And he throws it over the edge of the boat, and it explodes in midair. Uh, uh, throwing it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, uh, he was like, he was like, uh, 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 woman he throws. All right. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a great scene. You gotta watch that. Listen to Baywatch. No wonder. Yeah, isn't it more fun watching it with me and just listening to it? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I actually called Ralph during it and started doing a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> I was like, "Holy mackerel, you watching this one? <laughs> Where were the writers on this? You didn't even need to see the first fifty minutes. Just that last. And that's the most popular. It. That's the most popular show in the world. In I watched that. World. And I go, "Why am I putting so much energy into my script?" <laughs> Just get Every some week babes I, on the beach. Yeah, well, I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna pack my movie with tons of babes. Right. Every week I get a beach. new press release. I think they're up to 111 countries yeah. now. Yeah, it's the biggest show in the world. Ridiculous number. Yeah. A billion viewers. Yeah. Well, you can say why. <laughs> an hour, hour. Yeah, yeah. It's an hour. Hour of pack. And most of the hour is just like. If one of the girls falls in love, she runs on the beach for like an hour. <laughs> I heard him explaining once why it's so popular. He has like a whole theory because it's on the beach and people want to get away from their troubles. And yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, no, Pamela, and there's yeah. two reasons why. The two, the two bumps on t Pamela Anderson's chest. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget it. All right, let's take a break. I have a whole bunch more things to go through. Just and cleaning no out. Bay watch. Oh, you want more? <laughs> no, I think that's, I might have one. No, that's it. That's all I have. All right, tune in next week. All right, I'll tape some more Baywatch and uh, we'll watch it next week. We gotta get special Baywatch, Baywatch music and yeah, Baywatch yeah, we update. We have a whole setup. Yeah. yeah, we ought to do that. We got a Baywatch CD. I wonder if it's got any good music on it. Oh, do you wonder? Same fake urgent music. Yeah. Yeah. The music tells it all. That music's great, especially you can tell. You don't even have to watch the show. You can tell exactly when the bomb has been diffused. That's yeah. right. It's great. Right about here, you, you see her like, like, oh, okay, music. <laughs> <laughs> you can settle down now. Yeah. Oh, hold on. One more. One more. One more wire. <laughs> I was really worried there for a minute. I gotta hear that that crescendo. <laughs> Go back. You like the dramatic pause? Yeah. Whee! The name of that cue was "He Did It." Yeah. They, they have names. You gotta see him cutting the wires and the sweat yeah. on his brow, and so brave. <laughs> like you know, a normal guy would just jump off the boat with the chick. And just swim yeah, away from the boat. boat yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cutting wires and risking his life. Well, the boat was heading for the oil rig, and if yeah. it blew up, it would blow up the they oil rig. They don't have any, like, wheel on the boat? <laughs> yeah, they do. They, well, the girl climbed up and actually steered the boat away. Yeah, you left out the part. Some, it's a huge, huge sailboat with this giant sail. The wind's blowing like you wouldn't believe. And this woman shimmies up the post all the way to the top so she could disconnect the sail. And wouldn't it have been a lot easier just to disconnect the sail in the first place? <laughs> in about two seconds, you made yeah. it out there, too. All right, let's take a break. That's enough Baywatch for today. <laughs> Never we'll be back right after these words.